Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're going to talk about how to use emojis and how to do that on iOS and Windows 10 the easy way, not the hard way. So you're not going through the emoji keyboard. Each time that you're doing it, you can actually just type it in as you're going and have it appear in stream right while you're going without having to switch keyboards. Uh, really helpful. I use emojis a lot, as a lot of you probably know from reading the comment section. So this is one of my favorite little hacks. All right, stay tuned and we'll get started on that right away. So when I'm typing, I don't want to hit win key plus period, which is what you have to do in order to bring up the emoji keyboard. I want to just type and have it expand out uh, where I'm already typing. So otherwise it can be kind of slow and a little frustrating. And I use emojis in most of my communications for the same reasons that you guys do. So I'm going to show you quickly how to make your own. So we're going to go to the uh, emoji keyboard, win plus period. We're going to add an emoji. This one is called tears of joy. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to hit win key plus backslash. This is going to open up what we're using to create the emojis. This is KeyPress OSD's auto replace manager. So we're going to type in our shorthand or our abbreviation at the top, and we're going to paste our emoji down here in the replace with box. Now, if you have a space at the top, it won't work. You can't add this entry, so make sure there's no spaces and click Add Entry. All right, let's hit Escape and let's go ahead and test it. TRR, and we hit the space bar and voila, we have our Tears of Joy emoji, which is so cool. This is so much faster and I use this all the time. I think it is a perfect solution. All right, so the program we're using is called KeyPress OSD. KeyPress OSD does a lot of different things. I'm going to show you how to get it. To get KeyPress OSD, we're going to go into the Windows Store or Microsoft Store. We're going to type KeyPress OSD and hit Enter. And KeyPress OSD is normally, I think it's $44. Um, it's a program made by Marius. Marius is the same programmer who made the pen tool that allows you to remap the um, side buttons on the Surface Pen. So if you guys haven't seen that, if you have a Surface Stylus, that's a great app. So go ahead and get this one. It has a trial. Install it. That's the icon right there, KeyPress OSD. When you click on it, it's going to put the icon in your task tray. That's down at the bottom by your Wi-Fi signal, by your clock. I'm going to right-click it, uh, Preferences, and then choose Typing Mode. You need to make sure that Typing Mode is turned on, Auto Replace, that checkbox right there. And then right down here, you have one more step. You're going to click here, and you have two options, either ASCII or English abbreviations. So here you can see the ones. Uh, basically, I'm taking out the vowels. So nerd is N-R-D. There's no E. Uh, wink has no I. Star, um, because S-T-R is the beginning of a lot of different words, I just added a second R to make it not something that I would normally type. You want to make sure these are all things you don't normally type. So you can see kind of the, the concept here, and you can, like I said, just make your own and things that you'll remember. So that's um, pretty simple to understand, and you can always go in here and uh, look at these and see what they are by hitting view the list. So I use KeyPress OST for a bunch of different things because if you think, okay, 15 bucks, I don't use emojis that much, it may not be worth it for some people, but KeyPress OSD does a lot of other stuff. So it makes clicking and beeping sounds when you type, if you want it to. It expands out full sentences, and you can keep formatting. So right here, let's make a new one. We hit Win Key plus backslash. We're going to type intro. So if you write a similar intro for most of your emails or for some of your emails or text messages, you can put that in here. Hello, comma, how are you? Question mark, space, enter. I'm fine. And you hit add entry and we're going to close that. So now you type in intro, hit space, and there you go. It expands the entire thing. And this is really useful for uh, anyone who does typing. <laughs> I think it's a really useful program. All right, so on to iOS. We're going to go to your settings app and then go down to general, then to keyboard, and then we're going to click on text replacement. Now, this is so useful. And again, I use this all the time. Phrase is what we want to 
expand when we type the shortcut. So we're going to put our emoji here. We're using a think one, so I'm going to type THK and remove the middle. And then let's go ahead and exit out and go into a text message just so I can demonstrate this. So we're going to type THK, hit space, and not switch to the emoji keyboard. It's really fast, and, uh, and this is how I do it. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe.